Ali, you know, we've seen a, bit, a little bit of stabilization when it comes to Taiwanese stocks, but when it comes to this month, it certainly has been quite wild. We're still set for a monthly loss. Do you think that markets are likely to stay volatile, or do you think we've reached a point where it's a good entry point for investors? Okay. Uh, hello. Thank you for inviting me. Um, yeah. So for the uh, equity market, um, just as you mentioned, uh, the um, COVID situation, uh, the CDC has extended the level three alert. Um, I think uh, at the good side, uh, we view this is actually uh, is good. Uh, at least it's not escalating to level four as some might fear it. Um, and then uh, I think uh, looking into the next two quarters, we still think uh, that, uh, this will be a choppy market uh, because on the one hand, we have this COVID situation. On the other hand, uh, Taiwan equity market also faces um, some um, um, market concerns about the global inflation and the tapering discussion by the U.S. government. Um, for the inflation issue, um, our UBS team, we think this is more transitory. Um, the inflation pressure could ease as the overall supply return to normal. Um, for the tapering part, uh, UBS forecast um, uh, the discussion might take uh, take place in August or September. And, and then during the discussion, we think Taiwan equity market could also react negatively. Uh, but then um, after the uh, tapering program is confirmed, um, we think um, the, uh, the market will reflect to fundamental uh, earnings. So, um, so our there are some macro uh, conditions, be, Ali, that there are some macro right. conditions you say that are weighing on this market right now. What are some indicators that you're looking at? Perhaps that sentiment will turn the quarter. Is it margin debt levels have to come down a certain level? Is it the fact that foreign investors have to come back in a more sustained way? What, what are some of the key indicators you look for? Um, well, um, I think um, for the uh, from the uh, uh, the participant, the liquidity front, actually, um, QC has been uh, net buy, net sell, um, and then uh, I think uh, what's um, mostly unchanged is the retail participation uh, remained uh, quite high. So that's um, uh, our uh, our view is that we think the sector rotation will remain very uh, fast, very rapid uh, for this year. Um, and then uh, I think what to uh, monitor is indeed uh, actually fundamental, uh, where, uh, the earnings growth outlook and also the valuation. Um, so we actually suggest uh, uh, during this uh, choppy time, we suggest a more uh, balanced uh, holding into financials and defensive uh, sector and also the high yield stocks. But then um, if uh, for uh, um, the, those stocks with uh, growth potential, we actually um, uh, suggest to add uh, when they are pulled back with uh, attractive valuation. Uh, speaking of valuations, we're looking at Taiwan stocks trading at 12 times PE. That's a 20% discount versus peers in the region. You talk about adding to the portfolio. Can you specify, give some details on what's looking really cheap right now? Well, um, I think uh, it's very difficult to uh, uh, to have a very uh, top down uh, like uh, um, 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 breakdown because if you look at like semi overall, um, you can see the in terms of PE, it's at around average, uh, is uh, average of historical range. But I think we still need to look into details like foundry, uh, fabulous, etc. I think so. It, it, it's very difficult to uh, to. Uh, to have a top down. Uh, so it's more of a bottom up selection process. Uh, we've been looking at the chip supply constraints. Uh, right now, Ali, how would you play uh, the chip sector? We have guests on the show saying that perhaps the constraints would go beyond even this year. Yeah, um, there are some fears uh, in the near term um, uh, about a, a possible supply disruption because of this COVID situation, water and electricity supply situation. Um, but uh, our view is that we think the risk should be low because if you think, if you look at like Korea, Europe, and U.S., uh, their semi-production was not disrupted during the COVID outbreak. Um, the reason is because this is an important industry, and each government put. Prior 
priority to ensure a stable production. So I think this is the same for Taiwan. So um, we think the risk of uh, supply disruption is not high, but fundamentally the structural positive uh, demand theme we were, have been talking about, uh, high performance PC, 5G, auto, it all uh, remains intact. And Thai supply uh, in trailing edge products also remain intact and this would probably uh, stay throughout 2022. And this is positive for pricing, profitability, and earnings. So, um, about yeah. one thing um, um, to highlight, um, like to our, uh, the downside risk to our positive views uh, would be the uh, potential inventory destocking risk. This is uh, what market has been discussing and uh, yeah. the, the major cause of the recent volatility. So um, the inventory level is higher, but partially because of companies are keeping a higher inventory level due to the geopolitical sure. tension. Um, we haven't seen any, uh, we haven't seen all the revisions so far. So uh, I think key thing to monitor would be the sell through during the next two quarters.